Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. Today, I want to show you my updated Overwatch configuration tutorial for Zim Apex. It will also work with a Zim 4. Since my last Overwatch tutorial a lot has changed. Not only are there plenty of new Zim features which all are very helpful for Overwatch, the game itself also introduced a lot of new in-game options to customize the aim assist. In this video I will go over the following three topics. First, I will show you how to set up a Zim configuration for heroes that only shoot from the hip. This configuration will focus on giving you the best possible mouse movements and aim assist behavior to achieve the highest possible mouse accuracy. I will also go over the best Zim settings for hitscan and projectile characters. Whenever there is a difference for hitscan, or projectile heroes, then I will mention the best Zim values for each hero class. In the second topic I will show you how to set up a Zim configuration for heroes that have a zoom or aim down sights ability. This is for characters such as Anna, Widowmaker or Ash. In the last topic I will explain you the best in-game aim assist settings. I will of course differentiate between hitscan and projectile heroes again. Before I start with the first topic, this video is built on top of my basic Zim configuration guide. If you are a Zim newcomer, and you do not know how to enable the expert mode, update your game profile list, or create a new Zim game profile, then I highly recommend you to watch this video first. You can find it under link 1 in the video description. These steps are not shown in this video. As always, you can find the copy and paste codes of everything that I show you in this tutorial in the video description. If you have problems to understand this tutorial, then you can either ask in the comments down below, or you can click on the pastebin link in the video description. This will forward you to the full English text of this tutorial that you can use with a translation software for example. But let's start with the first topic of this video. How to create a configuration for hipfire heroes. This configuration is meant to be used for characters that don't have a zoom mechanic, so basically all heroes except for Anna, Widowmaker and Ash. The first step is to start your Zim Manager and connect it to your Zim. Once that is done, click on the Options button in the top right. After that head into the Global Settings. Here you can adjust your Zim pulling rate. Overwatch works best with 1000Hz for both, your Zim and your mouse. The reason is that the game has a small input lag which becomes less noticeable when using 1000 Hz. Also, this polling rate works the best with the game's aim assist mechanic and gives more responsive mouse movements. Make sure that your mouse is also set to 1000 Hz or else you may experience bad mouse movements. If your mouse cannot run 1000 Hz, then use the highest polling rate profile that your mouse supports. This will then also be the polling rate that you use for your Zim. Once you have adjusted your Zim polling rate, hit the save button in the bottom right. You can now leave this menu by pressing the arrow in the top left. After that, power cycle your Zim Apex. You do that by unplugging and reconnecting your Zim to the console. That way you restart your Zim which is necessary so that your polling rate changes become active. This step is not necessary for Zim 4 as it runs on a locked 125Hz pulling rate. When your Zim and your manager are running again, click on the wrench button in the bottom right of the Overwatch game picture. This will open a new window. Press the yes button and you will be forwarded to the Zim forum. Here you can find the required in-game settings that your Zim needs in order to give you the best possible mouse movements. Please, do not use any other settings. Your Zim will only work as intended if you use these in-game settings. By the time you watch this video, the required settings that you can see in the Zim forum may be different to those in my video right now. In that case use the up-to-date settings from the Zim forum. So head into your game and change its settings now. Once you have done that, you can go back to your Zim manager. The next step is to click the Configuration Edit button in the top left to enter the editing menu of your Overwatch configuration. The first thing you should do here is to change the configuration light. 
Pick your favorite color from the list. I will go with green. Whenever my Zim now shows a green light, I know that my Overwatch game profile is running. On the right side of the configuration color you can find the hotkey option. I will use the F1 key for this feature. This allows me to load my Overwatch Zim profile by pressing F1 on my keyboard whenever I want to. Now let's swipe one time to the right in your Overwatch Zim configuration. This will load the hip menu. The first thing you should do here is to adjust your synchronization settings. Under your Zim hip sensitivity you can find a button with three dots. Click that button to open the advanced options of your mouse movements. The synchronization value has a big influence on how smooth and responsive your mouse movements will be. It also plays a big role in how strong or weak the aim assist will be. Synchronization default and off give the best mouse movements in Overwatch. They also help a lot with the aim assist. If you are a slow sensitivity player, then I recommend you to use synchronization off. By slow I refer to a mouse sensitivity of around 40 cm or more on the mouse pad for a 360 degree turn in the game. This equals 16 inches. If your sensitivity is faster than that, then you either are a middle or fast sensitivity player. In that case I recommend you to use synchronization default. I will go with default for this tutorial. If you have a Zim 4 then you can ignore this setting. The reason is that a Zim 4 runs on a locked default synchronization, which is perfect for Overwatch. Once you have picked your preferred synchronization value, you can continue by adjusting your hip sensitivity in the Zim Manager. Go with a sensitivity level that you feel comfortable with. If you are unsure which mouse sensitivity works best for you, I highly recommend you to watch my tutorial video on how to find your perfect Zim sensitivity. You can find it under link 2 in the video description. My preferred Zim Hip Mouse Sensitivity for Overwatch is 25. If you want to play with a higher, or lower value, then this is absolutely fine. One thing to consider is that your mouse DPI has a noticeable influence on how high or low your Zim Sensitivity value will be. The more DPI you use, the lower your Zim Sensitivity will be. My Overwatch Zim sensitivity of 25 is based on 3200 dpi. In general, I highly recommend you to use at least 3000 dpi for the best mouse movements. If you want to learn more about mouse dpi, and how it affects your Zim and the quality of your mouse movements, then you can watch my best mouse and Zim dpi tutorial under link 3 in the video description. As for the new Zim features Steady Aim, Boost and Simulate Analog Behavior. Steady Aim is not very useful for Overwatch and I cannot recommend using it. The other two features are really good though. For Boost I recommend a value of 0 to 300. Use a lower value for Hitscan Heroes and a higher one for Projectile Heroes. Boost helps to enter and leave the aim assist bubble and reduces the scenarios in which your cursor is pushed away from the target. For hitscan heroes I recommend a value of 0 to 100. For projectile characters you can go up to 300 boost. Since I mostly play hitscan heroes I will use a boost value of 50. For simulate analog behavior I recommend a value of around 70 to 100. To find this feature, scroll down to the movement bar of your Zim Manager. Click the button with the three dots to expand the advanced settings. Simulate analog behavior helps a lot with potential aim assist problems and works great for both, hitscan and projectile heroes. I will go with 80 for this tutorial. If your Zim Manager doesn't show you these new features, then you have to update your Zim and your Zim Manager to the latest version. This is one of the things that I addressed in the basic Zim configuration guide. Also, if you want to learn more about those three new features, then check out the tutorial videos I made on my channel. The next thing to do is to customize your button bindings. Scroll down until you can find the button binding options. Here you can either copy my button layout that you can see right now, or you go with your own one. Use buttons that you can comfortably click while moving your character in the game. 
I recommend you to bind your hero ability actions to buttons that you can press while moving and jumping around with your character. At the very bottom of your button bindings you can find the button with the three dots again. Click it to get the option to switch to the secondary button bindings. This allows you to bind every controller action a second time. Make use out of this if there are actions you would like to bind twice. I use this to double bind my spray logo and one of my hero abilities for example. Once your button bindings are complete you can press the save button in the top left. This configuration is now complete. You can exit this configuration by pressing the arrow button in the top left. In the second topic of this video I will show you how to set up a configuration for heroes that utilize a zoom or aim down sights feature. The basis of this configuration will be the one that we created in the previous topic. Enter the editing mode of the Overwatch configuration that you just finished. The next step is to click the button with the three dots at the bottom. There you can find the copy and paste option. Click on the copy button. After that you can exit this configuration by clicking on the arrow in the top left. Now you have to create a new Overwatch configuration. Click on the options button in the top right and go to new configuration. Search for Overwatch by using the search bar at the top. Alternatively scroll through the list. Pick the game and choose your console at the bottom. Your Zim will then load a new Overwatch configuration. You can close the window about the required in-game settings as we already covered that. Once that is done, click on the editing button in the top left again. The first thing you should do here is to expand the advanced settings at the bottom again. After that click on the paste button. This configuration will now be identical to the one that you created earlier. At the top I will quickly change the name of this configuration to Overwatch Zoom Heroes. That way I will not mix up the two configurations. The next step is to change the configuration light. I will go with blue this time. At the right you can adjust the hotkey for this configuration again. I will use the F2 key for the hotkey option. I can now load my regular Overwatch configuration by pressing F1 on the keyboard. My Zim will then show a green light. When I want to play a hero with a zoom mechanic then I press F2 on my keyboard. The Zim will then show a blue light and load the correct configuration. The next step is to swipe three times to the right. That way you will enter a new auxiliary configuration. This sub configuration will take care of the zoom and aim down sights mouse speed. Start by clicking on the enable button. After that, you should bind your activation key. This must be the same key that you used for zooming in your hip configuration. In the Zim Manager this key is the one that is listed under secondary fire. I used the right mouse click for this action in my hip configuration. I will now bind that button as the activation key for this auxiliary configuration. Your Zim will now activate this sub configuration whenever you use the zoom or aim down sights mode in the game. At the bottom of your aim down sight sensitivity you can find the button for the advanced settings. Click this button to expand these settings. The first thing you should do here is to pick the same synchronization profile that you use in your hip configuration. For me this means I will go with synchronization default again. After that, you can adjust the boost level. Currently all sniper and aim down sights heroes in the game are hitscan characters. Therefore, a boost value of 0 to 100 is ideal. I will go with 50 again. If Blizzard implements a projectile hero with a zoom or aim down sights ability, then you can also use up to 300 boost. At the very bottom you can now assign the aim down sights translator to this auxiliary configuration. You do that by clicking on the right arrow. The last step is to adjust your aim down sights sensitivity. Scroll up again and pick a sensitivity that you feel comfortable with. For Anna and Widowmaker I prefer a sensitivity of 10. For Ash I usually go with 15. From those three characters I mostly play Anna, so I will set my sensitivity to 10. 
If you want to have the same mouse speed for hip and aim down sights with Anna and Widowmaker, then multiply your hip sensitivity with 0.45. Use the result as your aim down sights sensitivity then. For Ash you have to multiply your hip sensitivity with 0.61 to get your new aim down sights sensitivity. Those values only work if you max out the in-game option named relative aim sensitivity while zoomed for those three characters. This zoom and aim down sights configuration is now complete. You can hit the save button and exit this configuration with the arrow in the top left. In the third part of this video I want to discuss the best in-game settings for the aim assist. Overwatch offers you three settings with which you can customize the effect and strength of the aim assist. Those are called aim assist strength, aim assist window size, and aim assist ease in. In my opinion the best settings for hitscan heroes are an aim assist strength of 70 to 100, an aim assist window size of 25 to 30, and an aim assist ease in value of 70 to 80. Together with the synchronization, the simulate analog behavior and the boost feature, these in-game settings result in a really nice aim assist experience. For projectile heroes I recommend an aim assist strength of 70 to 100 an aim assist window size of 50 to 70, and an aim assist ease in of 70 to 80. The higher window size makes it easier to lead your shots without experiencing any aim assist problems. That way characters like Zenyatta, Genji or Farah are really easy to play. If you have a very good mouse aim, then you can also reduce the aim assist strength for both hero classes to a value of 30 to 40. That way the aim assist will become less noticeable, but you will still benefit from it. If you have any questions about the Zim, or about this Overwatch configuration, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.